What is up everyone? Welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption. I just wanted to say huge thanks to everyone keeping up with this. It's really fun playing for me, so I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it too. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. Oh yeah, I forgot that I left myself in alligator territory. <laughs> Not the best decision I've made in this playthrough. Well, we needed to kill an alligator anyways, so... Okay, it's like, what the hell? I don't know if I'm going to be able to loot them. Oh, I can. Nice. Jesus! <laughs> this thing's huge! <laughs> that was so scary. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> My horse is freaking out. <laughs> My horse ran into another animal. Is there another one over there? Oh god, it's right there. I see it. How did my gun disappear? It's okay, Horsey. I got it for you. You're all right, boy. Hold on. <laughs> My poor horse. That was pretty scary, I have to say. Damn. The other one wasn't as intense as this one. Oh, wait. Does it matter? I guess I can only hold one, huh? <laughs> guess it doesn't really matter, huh? <laughs> Let's go, boy. Okay. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Let's see. <laughs> well, what a nightmare. But we did it. Look, there's a bounty there. We still have to do John's mission, and I said I was going to do it today. What was this one again? Ah, oh, that's Ryan. I forgot Trelawney's in camp now. Um. That was the church. That was interesting because he made note of it. I want to go back there. Let's go back there on my way back. Wait, isn't there a trapper? The reason I was like, this is convenient, is that, yeah, there's a trapper here. Because, like, the nearest trapper to me is so far away. <laughs> Look how far it is. Jesus. But it's okay. Let's get out of here before my horse freaks out. <laughs> Let's get going. Yeah. Oh, that's like wow. Sometimes it's really fast, and other times that thing pops up super slow. Do, 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 do. Happen. I need a doctor. All right, man. All right. You're gonna be okay. You gonna help me? Oh, you gotta. You got Saint Dennis doctor. Oh, wants me to go there. Oh, well, it looks like I have to go to town, guys, if I want to help this, this poor man. Please, do something. Okay, you stay there. I'm going to steal your horse so that mine can hold the alligator skin. Easy, 
It's okay. Stop walking away from me, horse. We're just gonna go to the doctor's office, okay? We're just gonna go to the doctor's office. Whoa! This horse is crazy. Okay. Okay. Okay, we gotta take him to it said Saint Dennis Doctor. That is oh it already has it marked for me. Nice. Um it's this way. I'm gonna bring my horse with me too. Looks like we had to go there. I was gonna wait, but I mean <laughs> if the story requires it, I have to do what has to be done, okay? Ninety degrees. Oh, it is hot. <laughs> Stay away. I'm take my jacket off, probably. <laughs> oh, man. This place is huge. This is like a proper... Where? Proper city. Where am I? Look at this. I'm gonna have so much fun. <laughs> we won't explore it yet, but we're just gonna drop him up to the doctors. This is it. You're fine, you're fine. You're gonna be okay. Look, there's like stop signs and stuff. There's a there's a trolley. This is huge! Dude, I can't wait to come here. <laughs> My arm. I'm so excited. I can't feel it anymore. What attacked you anyways? Never seen anything like that. Alright, friend. Alright, we're at the doctor. Hey, I just want to keep myself to myself. Oh good god. Quickly, bring him in here. He's hurt. Help. Right here. And sit him down in this chair. Look at this. Look how fancy this all is. What happened? Just saw Wee. you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry. You're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. No. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. No. Right. All right. A lot of blood loss. This wound's badly infected. I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate. What? What did you say? Try to breathe. Uh, I'll give you something for the pain. No. Uh, hey, Art. And I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> You do not want to see this. I'll be the judge of that. I actually gonna do it. Sorry, it's come to this. Ah, oh, Jesus! <laughs> Me and Arthur. Yeah, let's, let's get out of here. <laughs> wow. This place is. Before I see where are you going? Come back. Okay, don't look at anything too much. Uh... <laughs> wow, though. This place is so pretty. <laughs> I just want to explore here now. <laughs> we'll be here eventually. Slight detour. Get back to our our town. Just check in around.
Now, why would he make note of it? Okay, then. the Lucifer and that was that. It weren't the traitors? I... Take cover! Any you can find and hold! Shit. Where is he? There he is. He's oh, up there. He shot his gun after I killed him. That's interesting. <laughs> Got rid of him. <laughs> I was just coming to grab some things. Like, jeez. I was just gonna just look around. You did this to yourself. Abandoned church. Cool, I can use this. Nice. I already had cooked stuff, and I literally don't know where it went. <laughs> I like, checked my inventory for it. <laughs> Just it's not there anymore. Did I eat it already? So we're gonna cook this one and save it, okay? out of here but first we're gonna check around so maybe it's not just maybe it's just not available like on my horse or something oh is it this one okay cool i didn't want to pull that out <laughs> hey whoopsies Abandoned church. It's got to be more to this, right? Arthur made note of it for some reason. I want to know why. Hmm. Maybe I'll come back to it another time. Pricey, let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go through town. Let's have some. Let's go to the fence, anyways, because I wanted to sell some stuff. Let's go, Arthur. Moth Morgan. What happened? Where? What happened? You okay, Mister? What happened? Oh, is the snake again? Oh no, not another snake. Please. I've been bitten by a snake. <laughs> <laughs> I need medicine. Oh, oh, oh you need to suck the venom out. Oh, oh yeah, we also need to get a haircut. I'll just suck it out because I don't feel like giving my medicine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have an idea. Arthur's favorite thing to do that I make him do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you won, Mister. See you later. Got that right. Got that right. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. We need to get a haircut because I keep forgetting to get one because the hair grew so long after that, after that mission. Not really that mission, man. Let's talk about that mission, because that mission really pissed me off. The fact that Dutch and Micah didn't come for me right away... ...annoys me. Like, they should have known something was wrong, but it's like I- they It's like I wasn't even gone. Like, they are all just chilling at camp. So annoying. <laughs> they didn't even have a plan to come get me. Whatever.
I also want to stop by camp before we do any other missions. Well, I'm gonna do Trelawney's anyways, and then we'll do John's, but... Ah! Run away from Gavin's friend! Of it. You never know when you're gonna need like one, you know. Thanks for your help. Thanks, partner. <laughs> you okay, boy? <laughs> hey, boy. Come here. <laughs> hey, said it like. Hey, boy. Oh, this dog doesn't even care about me. So sad. <laughs> what? Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go to the saloon, get our hair cut, yep. and then we're gonna go freaking figure out how to change my goddamn outfit <laughs> before I lose my mind and it doesn't save to the horse again. <laughs> like, I just don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I'm here. Go away. Wait, is the barber in here? Do they even have a barber in here? Now how can I ease your troubles? Damn it. Where's your barber, dude? Well, I hope you aren't playing a Hold on. Is there no barber in this town? What the hell? How is there not a barber here? <laughs> I am going to a different town then. Let's go here and fix our outfit. <laughs> and then we'll probably have to go back to Valentine to find a barber. <laughs> Should've just got my hair cut when I was in St. Dennis. I'm surprised there's not a barber though. Is there really not one? Yeah, there's not a single one. Stunsmith, that, that. That, that's it? See, how do I get that on my horse? Store on horse. Okay, we gotta remove one. There we go. God, it's so annoying that you have to do that. Why? <laughs> Why can't it just stay? What's the difference between these? There we go. For cold- I have a jacket! For us. Like, what? I'm confused. Trelawney. I'm finally here. Why? Well, wow. I know you think <laughs> a What? A man of words and not of action. Mm -hmm. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've- I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn <laughs> stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. <laughs> but, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. You're in the way to my horse. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? <laughs> well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent return.
options for the investor of a certain financial standing. Interesting. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, I know, right? I've done my part. <laughs> Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boy. Uh, hey! Oh, sorry. You boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. That's what I'm this saying. I don't think we should get town. involved. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, <laughs> while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. Interesting. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. You're a cutie. See you later, Hoyt. Just eat some meat while we have the chance. God damn it, where is it? Wait, now I gotta go back to Trelawney? What the hell? Come on. Just for him to walk I'm with me, seriously. <laughs> Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. <laughs> Why would I scare him off? Am I a scary person, huh? Should I brought my guns? Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? <laughs> and you, friend? He's the one that I judged me when I paid off my bounty. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. <laughs> My friend Arthur here has That's a me. present for you. Do I? From the basement of the gunsmith. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, mm -hmm. Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, Ask oh. for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also oh. one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. Oh, maybe like we'll that. stop by Strawberry. Well, that sounds goodbye, interesting. Alden, or should I say, adieu? Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> well, so he gives out tips. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. It didn't let me read it. Coach coming south from the down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Valuables and strong box. Passenger is very wealthy. Mr. Mrs. Chester Damson, aspiring but appalling opera singer. Appalling. I might as well hear her sing. We're gonna do this at night. River road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay, I think I know. Hold on, let me just get rid of... It's like really annoying to have that, okay? Because <laughs> it just gets confusing. Oh, a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. This way. Oh, <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Trelawney! What are you doing? What I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance... The unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. 
could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that mock. But we paid it off, so we can. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All dear this boy. Trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. Yeah, but I don't trust his plan at all. At all. Look at all these little piggies. Here we are. This is the spot. So we're just gonna oh. wait here. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well. According to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> oh, God, I have I to pick a lock. this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. Ah. This is damn Because <laughs> she's an oh, opera singer. very good, old, and very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. It won't. We, we got this. We can do this without violence, okay? I believe in us. There it is. Lockbreaker. Right on time. Break Let's other go. locks, too. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. ahead and get the coach to stop you hang back don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing no, no. oops that's not it i hope you don't mind my singing not at all i'm preparing Oh, it's a free country. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say a show? <laughs> it's a small benefit of an opera. So, Blackwater. Did you say? Mrs. Chester Damson. <laughs> I flatter. <laughs> See me back there. <laughs> Could you? It's it's such a small show, but it, it, would you sing something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Reminds me of the lady in Harry Potter. I've heard enough. 
Might I have your card? <laughs> the event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. My new girl. <laughs> so sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Nice, we did it. With zero problems. We're becoming a good man. <laughs> Well, thank you. I know, right? I worked hard, okay? Stay over here. Where are you going, horsey? <laughs> well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. <laughs> go see Alden from time to time. See you soon. Oh, no, we now have that as a thing too. Kind of want to go to seven fifty. <laughs> Damn. Maybe we'll stop by Strawberry. We gotta go to the okay, to Strawberry sorry. anyways. Nice. Complete within eight minutes. Man, wants you to go so fast. <laughs> oh, it's total take. Damn it. It's always how it is. What <laughs> eighty-seven is not bad though. I'll take it still. Yep. Okay, let's get out of here. Kind of want to go to. So far away. We can take the train back though. And then we'll do John's mission. Yeah. So to there. Why is this locked in? Oh, it's because it's nighttime, maybe? Wait, what's that? Oh, we also have to go here. I never went there. I remember that. Not there. <laughs> Where am I? I'm so lost. Okay, here we are. <laughs> right here. I want to go there. So we're going to go there, then that, then strawberry. On the way of there, we can stop in. Uh, well, Valentine's kind of out of the way. Maybe I'll like buy a ticket to Valentine and get my hair cut. Or if there's one in Strawberry, I can just do that there. Let's get going. Damn, that person's flying like me. get out so I can get my gun out yeah that's what I fucking thought yeah get dragged You running? Where are you going? Aw, did you die? That sucks, doesn't it? Not in my honest town. Yep. Okay. <laughs> no more. Usually, like, if you run into those. And you try to just go through them, it's like there's like 30 million surrounding you. So it's best to just back off and then re come back into it so that they're all in front of you so you can kill them easier. There's a fire over there. I wonder if it's anything good. Cooking anything good over here? if you'd have anything interesting for me but you're not a very interesting person so I'll be on my way <laughs> oh, 
Wait, I forgot. Oh yeah, we did like, I still haven't paid off the bounty. Maybe we'll do that too. We're gonna pay off the bounty here so that I don't feel stressed walking around town and stuff. Nothing to steal in there. <laughs> Hello there, pleased to see you. It's only like what, 25? I know where that money came from. New Hanover. Oh, okay. 120. I'm shocked you didn't get jumped walking in here with that kind of price on you. Thank you. That's nothing. No, 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 not onto that horse. <laughs> Why did it take me over there? I forget who told me about this. Hmm. I don't even know if this Easy is safe, now. but I guess we'll find out. Why are you such a klutz? <laughs> He's like me. Inspect. What is this letter? English spelling practice. Writing attentive zero ice young ago. Civilization occasion morning English school winter industry two heathen wilderness iron noise teacher English reservation blanket. Ah. I was like, is this going anywhere? Interesting. Well, now we can practice our English. <laughs> I do need that. Have anything else in it? Nope. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I gotta say this outfit though. Whew. I mean, Arthur. <laughs> Red chunk. That sounds disgusting, but I'll take it. <laughs> It's probably wet and soggy now. What are you here? Is there anything else here to even grab? There'd be like something here. Hmm. Oh god, that looks like fun. It's definitely where my horse is gonna trip. Yep. Nothing in there either. What about up here, maybe? This house. Hmm. Is there really nothing? I remember climbing up this, uh few parts ago, actually. Why can't I greet that guy? Jesus. Poor butcher. Hi. Hey there. You Hector? That's me. Alden tells me you're a uh, discouraged man. Ah, you must be a friend of that Josiah Trelawney. <laughs> Trelawney. Right. In that case, I've got something here you might want to take a look at. Ooh, mm -hmm. I mean, I'll have a look at it. Here. 
Nice. Let's see what it says. Stage heading up from Blackwater. Now I hear it'll be heavily guarded, so you might want to try a more covert approach, or lay down some explosives. <laughs> Great. We're road near know. Fort Riggs. You're the expert. Coming from Blackwater. Thank you. Hector. Heading Appreciate for it. Riggs you Station. Enjoy the rest of your day. All Riggs right. Station. Aha. Uh -huh. Coming from. Oh, so from here to there. Oh. So yeah, let's just Yourself. let's just be on our way. Come on now, boy. You good horse. Hey there. Oh, no, we're stuck. Oh. I'm like genuinely stuck right now. What the hell? Okay, get off. There we go. That was so weird. I literally couldn't move. I tried every possible direction too. My horse was like, nope. <laughs> Relax and do it. Use your legs. That's what you have Okay, now. Oh, no! Damn it. Spare me, please! No! Lord above! Release me at once! The Lord save me! Here we go. This time I have a better plan. This is what I wanted to do last time. <laughs> Let's go for a ride. Let me put my mask on because apparently it doesn't kill me. Wait, where'd my hat go? This is insanity. Did it cover my eyes? I've never noticed that. Where's my hat? When did my hat fall off? <laughs> Maybe I accidentally took it off. Okay, so I guess we go... Yeah, we have to go down to that. But before that... I wanted to do this. We're going on a little journey. Oh shit, how close is that train? Oh, this might be perfect. Ah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect timing train. <laughs> Anyways, back to the <laughs> stage. <laughs> what good timing on that train, though. Wait for the stagecoach to arrive. Force the stagecoach to stop. I'm sorry. Back off a bit. Hey, you stop the coach. What's the matter? You better have a damn good reason. I saw some outlaws up ahead. They look like old Driscoll's. Reckon they might be fixing to rob you. Oh, shit. Now, Melvin, Eric, don't this feels me. rude. I feel kind of bad. You sure you trust this fella? I ain't taking no chances. Now go on. All right. Whoa there. Well, hey, 
Thanks for that. Why don't you head on now? Step down from the coach and drop your weapons. Nobody has to get hurt here. This is a joke. Someone deal with this. Mm. Ah. You can go to hell. Take ah. them down, boys. I'll watch you rock. Where is this guy hiding in? How are you alive still? I've shot you like 30 times, dude. No horses were harmed in the making of the stagecoach robbery. Nice. Cool. I feel awful. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. Time to go, boy. I just wanted to know what it was like. <laughs> I thought we could do it peacefully, but they brought out the guns. <laughs> they didn't have to die. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's do, finally do John's mission. <laughs> That I've been avoiding for a long time. Whoa! Whoa! Why did that guy shoot me out of nowhere? Why was he shooting me? Is he part of that too? <laughs> Confused. I don't understand. See what John wanted. Is it okay to go straight through the door? Oh yeah, he's right here. Nice. But where right here? Horse flesh and for dinner. Can I help you? Oh, looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, man. <laughs> Let's go see what is going on with John. Poor John. Goddamn wolves. Like you. you don't know me. You turn up in town, you're helping everybody. And there's troubles everywhere. Hey, he's not wrong. <laughs> Bandits attack my fields. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Oh, this is that. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee ah. friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaite's? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Me and John kind of look really similar <laughs> with our hair. Prized horses I'm talking about. Them they'll get you. 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. Where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Can I keep one? Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Can I? Are these Just good horses? I kind of want one. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. <laughs> the way you looked at them. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. But can I keep one? Oh, sorry. We're all men of not many words. 
No one wants to talk to me. <laughs> he only knew it was us who torched his tobacco crop. <laughs> that was you? The old man Wait, you didn't know that? <laughs> about that. Burning rich folks' property? Sean was like a pig and shit. Talking <laughs> to Sean? He said to give you a message to meet him, Bill, and Mikey in town as soon as you can. Some other job they got going with the Grays. Another one? Uh, okay. No, I'll go okay. see what they're up to when we're done with this. This is gonna turn out to be a mess. I already know. This is not what we now should be we doing. Play this. Place is well guarded. We're just causing there more problems no as we go. Blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. <laughs> Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, mm. then. See how this goes. This is yeah, such we're a here to see about idea. some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Mm. Someone will come see you. That guy's gonna get fired. <laughs> Especially after this. Oh, whoa, whoa! Can you at least tell me you're turning? How am I supposed to know? Everyone says that you can just like hold A and you'll follow them. I try doing that, like right now it's working, but then sometimes it just runs you into a tree. <laughs> no need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. <laughs> Yeah, we're just casually going. Not not all suspicious right. at all. I think that's the stables just up ahead. I was in there before down, looking at the horses. Head around the front. Hitch up there. Alright, let's hitch up here. Come on. Easy. Okay. Let me do the talking. Yeah, I got this. I'm Martha Morgan. I always have this. <laughs> Hello there. Can I help you, boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. Whoa. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. There you go, boy. Cerberus. <gasps> Uh-huh. Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Shit, where's my... There it is. <laughs> Don't need nobody recognizing us. Oh. All right. I'll grab the white one in the middle. Nice. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Oh, there. Easy now. Easy. Marshal, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Take it easy there. Whoa, now. Whoa. 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 Why is he not coming down? Easy. It's okay. What's going on? What what is happening? The horse wouldn't do anything. Don't need nobody recognizing us. 
Okay, horse, I need you to be calm this time. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Hey, easy now. Easy now. <laughs> Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. I'm like not letting go of anything just in case. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, there we, go. we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Let's go, quick. Oh shit. Go, get out of here. I got the back. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being I can't stop these men! Stop! Oh god, go, 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 go. I just got trampled. Look out ahead! You're coming out of the field. Nice. Watch it! There's guards by that wagon. Why is it not? We got more on hold. Going in. Keep going. <laughs> it was like leading me slightly oh, off. <laughs> into the fields. Epic kill. Ah. There. <laughs> ah. there. The fence is down. Come on. <laughs> I don't know if that guy was attacking us. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, innocent farmer. Nice. Can I have that horse? I like the horse. <laughs> How about I take the horse? <laughs> Javier, language. Sound like my grandma. You see any more? Oh God, I was with the horse. <laughs> Get these horses to Clement's Cove quick before we run into any more trouble. <laughs> and I kind of want the horse, so if we have the opportunity to steal the Whoa! Are you okay, horse? Shit! One of the stallions is loose! Keep going! I'll get him! Yep. Easy. Easy, easy. Easy there. Whoa! Yeah, this thing is not. This horse is just not calming down. <laughs> the lead's broken. My invisible lead. <laughs> so can I just attach it to my horse? Then. Can I just keep this one? I want to keep one of them. I want this one to be mine. Whoa! You crazy ass horse! I will end you. I don't think I won't. What am I supposed to do? I can't attach it to my horse, which is weird. I thought I'd be able to attach it. I guess I just ride it? I'm just gonna get on you. Yeah, okay. Let's go, horsey. Let's see how good this one is. Damn. I already feel so fast. <laughs> I'm keeping this horse. You can't, you can't tell me no. Hi. Well done. Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. 
Let's get this over with. And then I'll steal the horse back. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> Damn it, where is my... Damn it, I don't have my hat here. You this think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Does that mean we're going to get to keep the horses? Ooh. Yeah, I don't trust them at all. I say we just get rid of them. Keep the horses. Let's see what they got to say. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh... Heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? <laughs> Maybe. Well, what do you Poor care? Javier. You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah, sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 650 for them. <laughs> <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys, but I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it, or leave it. How about we take uh -huh. it and take uh, the horses? You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. No, my, the horse Come I on. wanted. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. The horse. I will get that horse. Damn it. It's taking me away from the horse. Maybe I wanted the horse. Spun <laughs> us by one of that gray family. Imagine we was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like wise idiots. Damn. <laughs> Tribute, but I mean, they could use some money anyways. Hello, Dutch. Didn't even say hi to her. Jeez. Morning, Arthur. Hey, what up? Hold on, I'm looking at the ledger. Can I purchase that? Oh, it did. Okay. I wasn't sure if it did. Okay, cool. Are you finally taking a break? You? Wait, no, this is Mary Beth. <laughs> My lady. Her hair looks so similar to. <laughs> so, still glad you <laughs> to Miss Shaw's. I think so. Most of the time. They're not so bad. Sure thing. How about tomorrow? Well, let me think. So that's a yes. Good I thought they were together from the beginning. Okay. How are you, Chili? How are you, more to the point? Feeling better? Yeah, I'll live. You know, fire's good and hot, Mr. Morgan. Letter? Inspect? What's this? Dear Leonard, it is only three days since you and your mother stood on the platform so dutifully until my train was out of sight. 
and already I feel compelled to write. How handsome you looked then. You must learn chastity young, and learn it well. There are truths a man of my upbringing finds it easier to set down than to speak. Even to his son, I expect this not to go easy for a boy to understand. In some ways, I hope you do not understand it. Here is one such truth. I know that I have sometimes been more tutor than father to you, but do not let my sermons on your future as a lawyer persuade you that I see you more as a pupil than son. When we meet again on Sunday next, I expect I will have stiffened once more, but this brief distance gives me liberty to tell you that I have redeemed that you have redeemed more than you know. You can more than you can ever know or should ever be expected to bear. I expect the yard to be clear of snow when I return. I see that it bores you, but you must learn to accommodate yourself to all useful labor, however however menial. menial. And as always, read the letter aloud to your mother, and where I have written is not, do as do not say ain't. I am as ever your loving father. Letter to Lenny from father. Aww. Oh, this is, aww. That's so sad. Where's Lenny? Morning, Lenny. Doctor. Oh, hi. How are you doing, Miss Grimshaw? <laughs> Go hunting. So is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven <laughs> I remember that as a kid, too. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> but if I find a mirror on my adventures... I think I have I'll one. Back for you. Thank you, Arthur. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Thanks. Do I not have one? I could have sworn I had a mirror. What? Well, if I'm gonna call it there, I had a lot of fun playing on this one. I am excited to see what we have in the next one and probably go hunting with Charles too. Because I wanted to do that before, so I'm gonna save it where he's actually there. <laughs> I mean go hunting. Uh huge thanks to my patrons and I will see you guys in the next one.